couldn't let the um, sad passing of Alan Burridge um, go without a mention. Uh, for any motorhead banger, uh, we'll know the name Alan Burridge uh, with motorhead from 79, I believe. Um, head of the fan club, um, band historian, released books about motorhead. I think the best thing, like Lemmy said, there's of course there's the band, there's the nucleus of it, but there's people that, especially for a band like motorhead, there's names like Hobbsy, the Eagle, and Alan Burridge, people that are absolutely instrumental in Motorhead's rise and helping them along and getting the message out there and making them the band that they were. And Alan Burridge was certainly uh, one of them and a close friend of Lemmy's for decades. Um, and I I never um, spoke to Alan directly, um, but actually not so long, only four months ago, I made a video on YouTube, Faster D. Clark, Motorhead Fastway, playing style, a general tribute. Um, to which Alan Barge was, very, was kind enough to leave a message which I shall read, was, Yes, Faster D was and still is very underrated. I knew him for almost 40 years as I was Motorhead's fan club boss. Right, I discussed his stepping back on Overkill and yes, you're right, he knew when to leave the gaps and did so for those very reasons. Listen to his playing on the Curtis Knight Zeus, Zeus, Zeus album, The Second Coming. He's knockout, almost jazzy in places. Thanks for featuring him. To which I replied, and this is all true, Wow, a message from the Alan Burridge. Thank you, an honour. I can remember sending you a letter way back in the pre-internet dark ages asking to join the Motorhead fan club. I can. It was. I was 18. It was 1994. It blew me away just meeting Eddie that one time, which I did in 2000. Um, I wish it had been more time. So many questions I would have liked to ask him, and I ho still hope someone will, will write a book on him one day. I'll check out that mention you. I'll check out that album you mentioned for sure. Cheers. I've still got to check out that album actually, but um. I, I really was bowled over to receive the message from Alan Burridge and especially when someone like that says you've done a good job that's a, a pat on the back so thank you so much and just say rest in peace and my sincere condolences to his family and friends.